All right, we'll be talking to the Butler Township manager coming up uh, a little bit later on here on America Reports as well. Ask him about what went down and what the various roles were. CB Cotton Forest, CB, thank you. Now this. Wyoming Senator John Barrasso was among the lawmakers confronting the Secret Service in that video, uh, the Secret Service chief in that video, and he joins us now. Uh, Senator, thank you and welcome to you. First off, what was your yes, takeaway from how she responded? What did it tell you? Uh, very disturbing. She needs to either be fired today or to resign today because the more we learn about what happened there in Pennsylvania with President Trump, the more worrisome, bothersome it becomes. And she doesn't want us to learn very much. This is not about the men and women in the field of the Secret Service who are out there ready to give their lives to protect President Trump. This is specifically about the director. We had a conference call with her yesterday, 100 U.S. senators, in which she read talking points, stonewalled, 
cut us off without many of us having a chance to even ask questions. The American people deserve better. The Secret Service deserves new leadership today. You know, Senator, watching you and your fellow senators go after uh, Cheadle there reminded me a little of uh, Hillary Vaughn going after Rashida Tlaib. <laughs> I was wondering if maybe you adopted well, her tactics. But, but let me ask you this question, because well, at one point during the conversation, uh, one of you, and it might have been you, said you, to the Secret Service director, you haven't even described this as an assassination attempt. Is, is that correct? Well, ultimately, she finally did describe it that way. This is what happened. After the call yesterday, a number of us were there who had been trying to ask questions during the call. Four senior senators mm -hmm. were there, and then she, we learned that the director of the Secret Service was in the hall at the Republican National Convention, and we said, why don't we see if we can go get our questions answered? Look, these are common sense questions, John, that most people around America have. Like, why wasn't that roof secure, only 130 yards from the president? Mm -hmm. Why is it that this shooter could get onto the roof? Why is it that when he was seen as a suspicious individual an hour before the shooting occurred, that nothing was done about it? And then why 10 minutes before the president went on stage when he was actually viewed as a threat that they still let President Trump go on to the stage? So we went to see her with, a, with the plan of listening for answers. Instead, I mean, can you imagine this? The director of the Secret Service of the United States ran away from four yeah. senior but United States clear, senators Senator, that only had questions. Just to be <laughs> clear, she has agreed to comply with a GOP-led committee that has subpoenaed her to, to appear before Congress, and she will do so under oath on Monday. So I, I suppose the question is, did, was this effective the approach considering she will be sitting down and she has agreed to sit down and take questions on monday well she agreed to take questions from us on a call yesterday with 100 u.s senators republicans and democrats and the bottom line is she didn't take questions she didn't answer questions mm -hmm. every one of us who were there with her last night had tried to ask questions, mm -hmm. and they were told, oh, there are no more questions. Mm -hmm. We were furious by that. They cut off the call. It was a filibuster well, call where basically here? Why they talked happening? about everything except. What well, conclusion that's what are you know. drawing? We want to know, the American people want to know, what are they hiding? Why is no one ever held accountable in this administration, whether it was from Afghanistan or whatever? Why is this woman still in this job as the director of, the, of uh, Secret Service after what happened this weekend? And they. She agreed to come on and have calls with 100 U.S. senators mm -hmm. and then doesn't take our questions. So who the heck knows what she's going to do on Monday? We're not going to wait till then. Got we it. thought she was in the room. We could right. go talk to her last night, ask legitimate questions that all of your viewers have. I mean, you have video you've played of a man in the crowd saying, we're pointing up to the roof. There's a shooter up there mm -hmm. and no one was doing anything. She needs to answer those questions, and we thought we might have a chance to discuss them with her last mm. night. Instead, she chose to run away. So, Senator, you just asked the question why she's still in the job. Uh, Speaker of the House Mike Johnson is asking the same question. Here's what the U.S. Secret Service is saying about that. Continuity of operations is paramount during a critical incident, and U.S. Secret Service Director Kimberly Cheadle has no intention to step down. She deeply respects members of Congress and is fiercely committed to transparency in leading the Secret Service through the internal investigation and strengthening the agency through lessons learned in these important internal and external reviews. First of all, let me get your reaction to the fact that Secret Service is saying that she is not going to step down. And then secondly, why, why do you even need an internal or an external review? I mean, we know what should have been done. It, it wasn't done. It's not like you need to improve your processes. No. You know what you're supposed to do. They just didn't do it. Yeah, that's what I call swamp talk. You know, when President Trump talks about draining the swamp, that's what we need to get rid of, that attitude. We need answers about what really happened there in Pennsylvania, why so far no one has been held accountable, who's going to be held accountable. And I think we'd ought to start with the director of the Secret Service. Well, Senator Blackburn, uh, who posted that video, um, she reacted earlier with Harris on the Faulkner Focus. She said this. 
what she should have done is step aside with us and provide some answers to questions that we had. Who made that decision? Why did they make that decision? Where was the lapse in protocol? You're hearing so much on social media about this, but her priority was not about providing those answers. Yeah, I mean, I think the American public sees this, um, you know, director of Secret Service who was overseeing what was just a colossal, colossal mistake on, sat on uh, Saturday. And they wonder if this is a Secret Service that can keep our current president, our former president, and beyond, are they capable? And do you believe that you're going to actually get answers on Monday? And if not, what happens then? Well, you're absolutely right. I want to have special hearings in the United States Senate, in the Intelligence Committee, the Judiciary Committee, others who are oversight onto this. We shouldn't put this off. We ought to have that hearing come Monday in the United States Senate as well, where she cannot run and hide and go behind a door and have her own security block her from senators who are trying to ask questions. That's all we were trying to do yesterday mm -hmm. on the conference call. She refused to take our questions and then refused when we re offered just to go to a quiet place last night and sit and discuss what had happened with that assassination attempt. And it was not just the assassination attempt. A hero, a father, died. Yeah. His funeral is today. Died protecting his family. This was a massive failure on the on the part of the Secret Service, and there's just so far been no accountability at all. All right. Well, Senator Barrasso, we look forward to uh, what's happening next week in Congress. We thank you for joining us today. Really appreciate it. Let me say, we're in a unif we have a unified party, and we're going to get President Trump reelected and back into the White House and clean up this mess come January. Oh, well, we're looking forward get to his America address back tonight. on track. That's what the American people want. Thank you, Senator. Thanks.